The Ottawa County Board of Commissioners made even more changes changes to that county's government during today's commission meeting, which lasted several hours. That includes a larger role for County Administrator John Gibbs and a new assistant. 13 on your signs, Nate Belt listened in on the meeting. He joins us with what changes the county made today. At Juliet Kirk, the meeting began with multiple hours of public comment before even getting into those agenda items. Residents who spoke out today touched on several different topics. Many residents during public comment showed support for Adeline Hambly, the current health officer who was set to be replaced before filing a lawsuit against the Board of Commissioners. I'd like to join my voice to those of others who have expressed their appreciation for Adeline Hambly and all the employees of the Ottawa County Department of Public Health for their dedication to the promotion and protection of the collective well-being of our county's residents. Some addressed the board's lack of transparency with voters, while others showed support for board members who are part of far-right group Ottawa Impact. I would like to thank all of the new Ottawa County Commissioners along with John Gibbs. It is a breath of fresh air in our world of corruption. Once on to agenda items, the makeup of the county's housing commission was changed. Doug Zylstra, the only Democrat on the Board of Commissioners, was one of three people removed, leading to criticism from Commissioner Roger Bergman. So we are changing the makeup of the board to make it more political, is that correct? No. That's what it uh, sounds like to me. Replacing Zylstra on the commission is John Gibbs, adding to his duties as county administrator. It's uh, drinking from the fire hose. Gibbs requested approval to reclassify and upgrade the executive assistant position to a senior executive aide to the administrator. Gibbs says the aide is necessary, but Commissioner Jacob Bonema, who left Ottawa Impact on Monday, argued against it. This wasn't drinking from a fire hose for the last two administrators, so I'm trying to understand that because we were told that you're overqualified. I never said that. After that exchange, Bonama then went on to ask Gibbs to do the job that he was hired to do. That position, however, was approved by a narrow 7-5 to five vote. Thank you, Nate. 